In this video, we're going to look at how to clean coins using acetone. You're watching Cad Roll Hunter. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is James and you're watching my channel Cad Roll Hunter. Today, we're going to take these coins here that have a sticky, icky residue on them and we're going to clean them using nail polish remover. Specifically, what we're going to use is 100% acetone to remove this sticky film. Recently, I had the opportunity to purchase some old Canadian pennies, and I've got eight of them right here. And clearly, these pennies have come from someone's collection. And not uncommon, what somebody has done is put tape on the back of these coins so that they would be held in firmly into their collection book. But unfortunately, over time, that sticky residue, that film from the tape has stuck to these coins. Some of these coins are actually fairly valuable coins. Now, they're not hundreds of dollars, but they're worth more than a penny for sure. They're harder to find dates, but in this condition with this tape on them, they're not really worth anything at all. Now, conventional wisdom would say, don't clean coins. And I'm going to tell you, I actually agree with that statement. One of the main reasons for that is because it is very likely, if you don't know what you're doing, you could use harsh, abrasive chemicals or solvents that might actually damage or discolor your coins. And that could ruin them and take away any potential value. Now, these pennies that I have here are actually from the 20s and 30s. So they're very old scents. And someone has stuck them in their album with tape. And on the back of all of these coins is that sticky residue from the tape that never came off. Some of these coins look like they might actually be in good condition, but we can't really tell because this tape residue is stuck to them. And so right now in this condition with this tape, these coins are not very valuable. And so I'm not terribly concerned, but what we're actually going to use today is 100% acetone. And you can purchase 100% acetone in a hardware store. You can do that. You can buy them in bigger sizes. Now, this one here, I actually got at a local pharmacy in the beauty area. So one thing you'll want to be sure of is that you're getting 100% acetone. There are other variations of nail polish remover because that's essentially what this is sold as in the beauty department. There are other versions that are not 100% acetone and contain all sorts of other ingredients that are probably going to wreck your coins. So what you want to use and what we're going to use today is 100% acetone. Acetone will remove, dissolve any sort of organic compounds like this tape residue. It'll do a pretty good job. What it's not going to do is remove any environmental damage. So if you see any um, green spots on your coins, it's probably not gonna do that. It can actually remove a little bit of the luster from silver coins, but it should do a pretty good job at getting this sticky residue from, these, uh, from the tape off of these coins. So we're gonna give it a try with these eight pennies and see if we can make these much, much nicer than they are right now. Now, before we get started, there are a few really important things that we need to go over about acetone. So the very first thing is, number one, it is highly flammable. If you're gonna be working with acetone, you wanna do this away from any spark or flame. Acetone and fire do not mix. The second thing is that acetone is highly evaporative. So we need to be able to cover it and seal the containers that we're going to use. I would strongly urge you, the containers that I'm going to use here are like small, really small cookware, right? So ceramic of some sort. Glass or ceramic with a cover is good. I would stay away from plastics. I would stay away from paper, anything like that. It will be eaten away or it just won't be effective. And you don't want to use anything like saran wrap as a lid. So I've got a few lids that I've brought here with me that are actually fit, uh, properly fitted to the top of this container. It's a standard size and it should keep the acetone from evaporating. And thirdly, you want to cover it because acetone has a very strong smell. So you'll want to do this in a well-ventilated area and cover it quickly. So 
I'm gonna get these pennies in here. We'll put three in a couple of them and two in another. And we're gonna fill these partway full with acetone so that the entire surface of the coin is covered and then some. And we're actually gonna leave this overnight and see how we did. What we're gonna do, I'm just gonna get a little closer look so you can see closer look at the residue that is on these coins. Some of them you can see really clearly that where there was a piece of tape on there. So what we're hoping is that this residue is gonna be eaten away and the surface of the coin shouldn't be damaged at all. And hopefully we can reveal the true beauty of this coin. I think these are all in pretty good shape with some good detail, but we can't even tell that. And these aren't really worthy of going into an album. So let's get started. Okay, we've got our penny situated here and I'm just gonna start pouring this acetone in there. Get them nice and covered up. And let's see this last one here. There we go. So they're very covered up and I can tell you the smell is pretty strong. I'm gonna cap that back up so that uh, we don't evaporate any of that. And uh, I spilled a little bit on the desk and we can already start to see a little ring around it where it started to uh, evaporate. You can actually see it evaporating right in front of our eyes. That's pretty crazy. What I gotta do is get this off of here, otherwise it's gonna eat the finish of the desk. So here's your cautionary tale on the power of pure 100% acetone. That spot where it dripped on here, it completely ate away the finish in 30 seconds. I've sanded it down here where I'd kind of wiped it off and I will apply some new finish on here so I'm not terribly concerned. And over here, that's where I set the bottle down that it had, still had some acetone on the bottom. So you want to be really careful where you're doing this and you don't want to do it on anything that has any sort of finish on it because not unlike nail polish, this stuff will just dissolve. Okay, I brought our containers out. Our coins have been soaking for a couple of hours. I had initially thought that I would leave these overnight, uh, but I don't think that is really necessary. We're going to see how it looks. I think it might be overkill just considering how quickly a little spilled drop of acetone was able to eat right through the finish on this desk. I don't think we need to wait any more than a couple of hours. That was just a matter of seconds. So we're going to open these up. We'll take a peek. We'll see what we've got. And then I'm going to get them out of these containers. All right, I've taken the lid off this first one. We've got a few coins in here. It's a little bit dark, so we probably have to get them out of here. But just by the naked eye, it kind of looks as though the... Acetone has done its job. So I'm gonna get all of these carefully out of here and on this paper towel to be perfectly safe. And we'll take a look and see if we can see that tape residue or if it's all gone. Okay, so we've got all the pennies out of the acetone. Here they all are. And these are the reverses of all of them. No changes here. We were really focused on the other side of these coins, but we'll take a look and see how did we do. So here is the 1921, one of them here, and you can see the, uh, it's a circulated coin. It's pretty dark. When I flip it over, it does have, I think, some damage on the coin. I think all of the residue is gone. Essentially what's happened is that the residue might have actually saved this coin from toning or changing so it hasn't damaged the coin, the acetone hasn't, but having that residue on there for a long time might have had some effect. But we can actually see the details on this coin where we couldn't previously. Let's flip the rest of these over and we'll take a peek and see how we did on all of them. So on the left, that's the first one we looked at. We'll just keep scrolling through and we can see that all of that residue is gone. We can actually now see the devices of these coins pretty clearly. There's some evidence that there was uh, the residue on there. Take this one right in the middle of the screen here. You can see that where it wasn't covered in the residue has become more brown, a little bit more discolored. But we can actually see the details of the coin clearly. Previously, it was all glossy and, well, we couldn't really make out what was on there. So let me know what you think about uh, this process of using acetone. I think what we can see is that it clearly dissolved the acetone and got that off and we can see the detail on these coins. I wouldn't want to do this to any coins that were significantly valuable because you could potentially 
uncover something that you can't really undo once you've done that. But in this case, all of these coins were looking pretty awful. You wouldn't want to have put any of them in your album. But now we can see the detail on these guys, and it is these are much, much better. And here is a close-up of one of these coins here where we can see now all of the detail. This is actually a pretty nice-looking coin. In particular, what you're looking for on Canadian coins is how much of the band of the crown is visible because that's the high point of the coin. And we can see all of the band of the crown and just some of the jewels in the middle have started to be obscured. But you couldn't make out any of that detail with that grody stuff that was stuck to this coin. So I hope you enjoyed that video where we were looking at cleaning coins with 100% acetone. It's not something I've ever done before and I figured I'd bring you along for the ride to see how we fared. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, Catroll Hunter, go ahead and do that. Guaranteed, you'll love it. Uh, we do videos on coin collecting, coin roll hunting, special purchases. I like to bring you along for the ride. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next time. The sponsors of today's video are Lighthouse Canada and the Charlton Press. Lighthouse Canada is the leading supplier of high quality numismatic supplies in Canada and the Charlton Press is the leading publisher of coin and paper money catalogs and price guides for Canadian collectors. Go check out their online stores today and use the exclusive discount code CRH20 for 20% off all your purchases.